Hi, in this tutorial, we'll be covering Google Calendar integration and setup. IntelliVent's Google Calendar integration can be used to create calendar events in Google Calendar populated with job level summary, location, description, start date, end date, and time information. Um, after these calendar events are created, the calendars are automatically updated uh, when those information subsets are changed on a job and the job is saved. In order to set up the Google Calendar integration, navigate to the user profile, select the sign in with Google button. We'll take you to a sign in page. Um, if you're not logged in elsewhere, um, you'll have to type in your email and password. In this case, uh, I can just select the account that I would like to use. And hit allow to grant access. And it redirects back to the user page. Uh, we now see a sign out of Google instead of the sign in button. Uh, there are two th different things that we can do at this point. Um, we have user level calendars and master level calendars. The user level calendars are tied to um, the salesperson, secondary project manager, um, and if a user is assigned to a particular job, they will receive those notifications on their calendar. Um, whereas a master level calendar is system-wide. So all of the different events that are going on throughout the system will appear on that master level calendar. On the user level, if we want to select a user level calendar, up at the top, we have set up G calendar. Select that. You can view the different calendars associated with user and select the specific one or multiple that you would like to use and then save. For the master level calendar, if you go to management, system options, under system settings at the bottom, we have Google Calendar. Select that. You can view the different users that are integrated, select a user whose calendar you would like to pull from for the master, and select the calendar. Now, if we go back to a job, we can see under um, Google Calendar at the bottom that this job has been previously integrated which is true, we can see our job right here and some base information. If uh, we were to change some of the uh, notes here, these are my job notes, here are our new notes, and maybe the date of the job, and save it, uh, assuming that the integrate to GCAL button is still checked, it will update the calendar for us. So if we navigate back here, we can see that our calendar has been updated uh, with the new date and the extra notes that we have added. And then from a change log standpoint, we have our most recent integration time listed as well.